Hi, my name is Maddie, and welcome to Family of Please. So this video is going to be about some questions that I've been asked as a young mum, whether they're obnoxious or just normal questions, so you guys get to know me. Let's begin. I obviously have two kids, one is Sebastian and the other is Anastasia. Um, Sebastian I found out because obviously I've been missing my monthlies and uh, I don't know, I sort of just started eating a lot more and noticed things that, you know, about my body that I hadn't really noticed before and stuff like that. Um, so I went to the doctors about it and my doctor told me that I was indeed pregnant. And I was five weeks when I found out about my son. Uh, with my daughter, I took pregnancy tests at home. I ended up taking three because I didn't believe the first one. I didn't believe the second one and the third one was sort of just, okay. So I went to the doctors as well and uh, talked to her about it. And she's like, well, you took three. All three of them came back positive. You're pregnant. Like, Let's begin with what they do as doctors and stuff like that. My kids made my life. My Before my two beautiful children, I was a hermit. I didn't really go out much before I had kids. I mean, I, during the day I did. And I hung out with people that as much as I loved them or some of them I still talk to, they probably weren't the best crowd to be around. I got into some stupid habits. I got into some stupid lot of drama. Um, but I found out, when I found out that I was pregnant, I stopped a lot of that, just, I wanted to be the, be uh, the best mum that I could for my baby. And the start of this question can be a story for another time, another story time, if it's wanted to be told, and I will consult my partner about it, because he's involved, obviously. So... When I was pregnant with my son, I moved away to go be with my mum because I, as a pregnant woman you need your mum or you need your dad depending on who you're closest to. I'm, I'm close to my mum and my stepdad dad is with my mum so. Um, so I went to her and uh, my son's dad stayed down here. Um, and I got a lot of, like, shame for being so young, not being around the dad, not, you know, after a, after a big fight, not talking to the dad, stuff like that. And I admit it was hard. It was hard to think about my son might not have his real father in his life. My son might grow up without knowing his dad and, and it hurt like the amount of times I cried about it and stuff like that it it made me want to be the double parent be mum and dad to my kid and stuff like that but growing up growing up with my mum she was both for me she was both for all four of her kids She was both for both uh, for all four of her children, and she did really well. That plus all her mental problems, like mental illnesses, she did really well. And like my mum's always been my role model, and you know, and she's doing it again with four different uh, four of her grandchildren. Obviously not my kids because they're with me, but she's amazing. Both of them were a mistake, but they're not, they're not mistakes, they're by accident. I wouldn't change them for the world, I wouldn't change the time that I had them, I wouldn't, nothing. I wouldn't change what happened after I had them, I wouldn't change the fights, the body, the anything that I've got now because of my beautiful kids. They, they, 
have helped me so much since I, uh, since they were born. My son started my stepping stones into being a better person, started my stepping stones into being happier, just better within myself. Before my son, I felt horrible about myself. I was one of those girls that I am the worst person ever. I am disgusting. As long as my kids are in my future, and they will be, that's all I care about. As long as we're happy and we're safe and, and we're fed, as long as my kids are fed, as long as they have clothes on their back, as long as they are under a safe roof, that's the best future I can hope for. No, no, because I have my partner. We get along on not only as we are in a relationship, but we had this strong friendship way before my son was born. Before we were in a relationship, we, we grew from friends to into a relationship and then we had a child. And now, after scruffles and stuff like that, we are back with back together and we are happy and we still got that friendship. We've got a connection that's that's not based on our relationship, we've got a connection that's also based on friendship. Um, I am now friends with his friends and stuff like that and they come and stay at our house or he comes and stays at our house or his day, uh, my partner's girl best friends, they come and visit and I mean one of them are the god is the godmother of Anna. The the best friend, his, my partner's best friend, is the godfather of my kids, like, both of them. So, like, I'm not isolated, I've got plenty of people to talk to, my, my family is huge and we've all got special friendships between us. I'm not isolated, if I need a coffee I'll go have a coffee with one of them, if I need to at people, I have plenty of people to talk to. My little sister is literally my best friend. I have plenty of people in my life and my kids, they love my kids. That's all I need. I get looked at like, she's disgusting, you know, she's a little skank, whatever. You know, the best thing I can do is ignore it. I love my kids. And this video probably has a thousand times of me saying, I love my kids, I love my kids, I love my kids. But, I do. I would not... I wouldn't change, like, I don't care about the looks anymore. I did when I was first, like, the first week, maybe, and then the thought, why do I care? Look at this beautiful child that I have. Look at him, he's the cutest. And if you care about the looks that you get because you're a young parent or because you're a parent or you shouldn't it doesn't matter you're bringing up the future you're bringing up you're bringing up a baby you're bringing up someone that is just ugh, I can't mm, I love my children I love I wanted to be a childcare worker because I love being around kids kids are just I want to help the future, and helping the future is by helping my kids, or helping kids. So, alright, I'm gonna go. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.